Hello all. In this tutorial, we'll model texture and light and exhibition stall in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take a reference over here. Let's go into rendering, view image file, and let's take the reference of this particular stall. So let's take the reference. So we are taking the reference over here for this exhibition stall. Let's open this reference over here. So very first of all, before starting it, let's start up with a plane over here. So take a plane over here. You can draw a plane right from the top view also, or you can model it from the perspective view. After doing this stuff over here, let's make the wall for this. So let's go into this. Let's go into AC extender and let's take a wall. So as you can see over here, uh, so first we are going to scale this part over here, take a wall, just create a wall in this way. So if you press S and if you want to snap it, you can easily snap it over here, the wall part. So you can go into the vertices of the wall and you can adjust it accordingly over here. The next step over here is like Okay, so just click over here, just keep the wall part aside. So you can just right click and convert to editable poly and you can increase the height of the wall or you can just resize of the resize the wall. Now the next step is we are going to create this part over here so that stuff can be easily created using a line tool over here so click on this shapes splines take a line tool over here draw a line over here push this up and drag it down that's it so after you are done with this stuff so you can just click it over here into this line you can go into the vertex select this vertex push it over here select this vertex push it over here after that you can go into the rendering enable in viewport and let's make it as a rectangle over here that's it so increase the width over here that's it all right so you can click on this vertices of it you can just select the vertices go over here and use the fillet option you can use a bit of fillet over here all right the next step is if you want to increase its height of this particular wall you can increase the height also now the next step is the next step is creating this part over here so first just select and give a simple color over here so click over here use a line tool again so back again we are going to use a line tool over here so let's use a line tool so take a line over here drag it and you can just close the shape that's it all right so you can go into the modifier list and use the extrude modifier click over here you can push this over here and keep this all right and go into this view you can go into the line go into the vertex you can push it a bit down and you can use the fillet option. So 
so as we are going to use a bit of fillet over here that's it all right so use the extrude option back again over here that's it okay so you can just increase the height of the wall because the height of the wall is uh, too less so you can just increase it same thing can be done with this also I can just increase this height like this select this and you can just push it up better you can just scale it a bit over here that's it you can push this over here scale this till here all right okay now so let's go on to this view that's your side view we are going to create this design over here so it's very simple so let's click over here again take a line tool over here just click over here and end it that's it all right so you can just click over here onto the vertices and you have a fillet option again back so you can just give the fillet over here you can go into the vertices and you can push this a bit up and if you want to resize it you can increase the width over here that's it all right So now let's right click convert to editable poly and let's go into the swift loop and let's assign this loops over here so we can assign some loops over here and here that's it so you can just click over here better what you can do is you can just use this edge option over here all the way and use a connect option so so you can use the connect option click ok let's push this up over here go into the vertices you can push this over here you can push this a bit down use a swift loop same you are going to use a swift loop over here select this control select that part so if you want to make it much more thicker you can make it much more thicker so that thickness can be defined before the stuff you can increase its width over here that can be done in this manner All right. so you can just, just just push it inside and right click convert to editable poly just select this and use the connect option let's give to connect push this up all right select this ring it and again use the connect option you can increase it like this so let's go into this poly click over here click over here and let's delete this part click on this border select this border and let's do the bridge option over here so we do have a bridge option you can uh, easily bridge it you can select this edge if you want to chamfer it you can easily chamfer it you can just select this 
if you need a requirement of a chamfer part you can easily do it you can just do the chamfering part in this manner click ok so select this edge ring alt r that's for ring control and click on this polygon and use the extrude option and the local normal reduce it very very less and that's it okay perfect so now you can again click on this edge ring it control click on this polygon and use the extrude option and can extrude it a bit less that's it all right so first let me save this file because we haven't saved this file yet so let's save this file over here so click over here and if you need to make it a bit more wider you can make it more wider over here so you can just select this so let's save this file over here all right so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial